Hello, this is Cynthia Sue Larson, and I'm the best-selling author of the book Quantum Jumps, An Extraordinary Science of Happiness and Prosperity. I've just come back from New York City where I was interviewed by Deepak Chopra on his show One World with Deepak Chopra, and I really had a great time doing that interview. I've loved getting to see the Deepak home base right there at ABC Carpets and Home, and I also got to meet a wonderful personality and uh, actual gold medal winning uh, Olympic medalist and his name is Sugar Ray Leonard actually Ray Charles Leonard but everyone knows him as Sugar Ray and while he was talking because I did stay to hear his interview as well I was really moved by something he told uh, talked about and that was the significance of the boys club in his life and what a difference that made in terms of having a sense of hope and goals and it's it's amazing coincidence because I also mention a story in my book Quantum Jumps there's even an illustration this is college penance on the wall and that's an illustration from the story of Denzel Washington's life because he was also tremendously um, influenced in a positive way by the boys club in his life and the tie-in with Quantum Jumps is just the idea that sometimes when we see that someone is doing something that we may not have thought possible for ourselves when we start recognizing as Denzel Washington did that it is possible um, you just need to set your sights on a different goal sometimes just that that very simple thing of seeing that a previous classmate in the boys club had gone on to college and was sending back a college pennant to the boys club director where Denzel Washington was and that's a story that I share in Quantum Jumps um, that made a huge difference for Denzel, who then decided, hey, you know, if Gus can do it, I can do it, basically. So it brings an idea closer. When you think it's possible, then it is. And that's really the whole um, key to this science of quantum jumps, recognizing that you can act as if and benefit from things like embodied cognition that scientists are discovering is so powerful. That's the work of Amy Cuddy, for example, at Harvard University and of course the placebo effect and the fact that it's remarkably effective and in fact has been doubling in efficacy over the last 30 years so when you look at things like that you recognize that acting as if oftentimes has a huge influence on our physical reality and fortunately for all of us this is something that we can look forward to seeing more about in the future uh, but getting back to my trip to New York City, it was wonderful, and I am very much looking forward to seeing the interview posted. It will be on One World with Deepak Chopra, and it's a delightful ex experience just to be on the show. And the conversation that comes from Deepak is um, quite significant and deep because he's been working in the field of the science of um, the way thoughts and feelings and reality and consciousness interact for so many decades. So I'd like to leave you with my favorite question, how good can it get? And until next time, keep asking that question and hopefully it'll start percolating down into the subconscious level where that's where we really do manifest our dreams um, because this reality um, is consciousness that's very much like a dream. And as the father of quantum physics, Max Planck once said, I regard consciousness as fundamental and I regard matter as derivative from consciousness. So that's a big idea. And it all starts with cleaning out the emotions inside of ourselves. Scientists are noticing the importance of that as well. That's something we've been talking about for years. So keep asking that question, how good can it get? No matter what is happening right now, anticipate that things can always get better and let your imagination take you there. Let your subconscious start finding ways to work with the entirety of all reality in this one mind, many worlds experience that we're all sharing and find out for yourself. So until next time, again, this is Cynthia Sue Larson with RealityShifters.com and I'm going to keep asking how good can it get too. Take care.